Hiram here. Last week I did a video called Yet Another Way to Use Carbon Felt with your Trangia Burner. Uh, in that video I was trying out a test of an idea that I ran into. My wife and I were out and uh, she wanted me to bake her something. She figured if I can bake stuff for you guys, I can bake her something. So unfortunately the only thing I had with me was my Trangia this, the, uh, what is it, the ever new titanium cross stand, a Boy Scout pot and a container, but I didn't have enough room for the container to go in here plus, you know, offsetting it with the carbon felt. And it was, it was really heating it up. This was heating it up way too fast and too much. So I thought maybe what I could do is I put the carbon felt across the top like that, that maybe it would slow it down. But just the opposite seemed to happen. It seemed to get even hotter and cook up even faster. So that's what my test was last week to see what would happen uh, using this Evernew Titanium with, without rather, and with a piece of carbon felt between the burner and the pot. But, well, it did come out that using the carbon felt like this uh, brought it to a boil, what, in about little short of three minutes faster. Without it was 1035, with it it was 756. But what I forgot to test was how much alcohol was actually used. And a number of people, you know, caught me up on that. So what I'm going to do today is try it again. I have two fluid ounces of, de of methanol in here. I've weighed it the burner with the alcohol so I know what the weight is. I'll go through this test and then I'll weigh it again and see how much alcohol was used. I was told don't let it wait just put it on so I have two cups of water here setting at 62 degrees. It's 67 degrees here very windy outside cloudy and the humidity is 36 percent. So Let's see where this goes. Okay, I have to restart this. That obviously didn't work. Putting the pot right onto this. This uh, Evernew, I think, really acts like a heat sink and just cuts down on the alcohol on the burn. Let me let it just go like this. Although this is going to be consuming alcohol, so it's going to play havoc with the weighing. This, uh, you saw in one of the older videos I did with the Evernew. It's handy, but, okay, there we go with the bloom. So let me put the pot on now, and let's see where it goes. There we have 210, 211, 212, and 1024. Okay, let me put this out real quick. Okay. Wow, that's pretty close to the time from yesterday, or the, the last week rather. Before I got 1035 for two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Today it was two cups of water starting at 62, 63. There was a little bit of goof up there. The flames went out so I had to restart it. But the temperature had gone up maybe a degree. I'll check back on the video for that one. But that was two cups of water starting at 62, 63. Got to a boil in 10 minutes and 24 seconds. What I'll do is let all this stuff cool off. I'll weigh how much alcohol was used in the Trangia and then once this is all cooled off I'll redo the test using the carbon fiber carbon felt. So for you I'll be right back. Okay so everything's been cooled off 
two cups of water here. Let me light this. Wait till this blossoms. So, <clears throat> that was about 15 grams of uh, methanol that it used on the first test. So I refilled this back up to the 115 grams of total weight, the just the burner and the alcohol methanol. Let's see when this gets to a blossom here. I have the carbon felt that I'll just put on this. Okay, there we got the blossom. Put the carbon felt on. Two cups of water starting at 61 degrees. And let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 212, and 828. minutes and 28 seconds before it was 10 minutes 24 seconds without the carbon fiber good thing it did that what I want to do is weigh this see if there's any alcohol in the uh, carbon fiber itself so let me let this stuff cool off I'll weigh it and I'll come back to you with the numbers be right back okay so here's the numbers on the first test using the Trangia with the Evernew Titanium Cross Stand just this by itself two cups of water starting at 62 degrees came to a boil in 10 minutes and 24 seconds using 14.9 grams of methanol which is about just a little bit more than a fluid ounce about 0.59 of a fluid ounce with the carbon felt on top, which I weighed the carbon felt, it weighed exactly the same before the test as after the test. I thought there might be some vapors and stuff in here. Uh, you know, maybe it got saturated with the alcohol. But I think by sticking to the pan, the pot rather, and being smothered right out, there was nothing that burned off. This just weighed exactly the same before and after the test. But the test with the Trangia, the Evernew Titanium Cross Stand, and the Carbon Felt or Carbon Fiber. It took two cups of water starting at 61 degrees, 8 minutes and 28 seconds uh, to come to a full boil, about two minutes less. The alcohol used was 17.3 grams or 0.71% of a fluid ounce. So we've got maybe a quarter of a fluid ounce more used with this, but it got it to boil in two minutes close, two minutes shorter. So it's not like a whole lot of more alcohol was used this way. It's pretty close to being the same, but it cut the time by two minutes. So I don't know, this might be something to look at for even other stoves that use alcohol. I really can't. I don't know what it is, if it's because the, the flames get spread wider. If you saw on the camera too, they were much bigger and wider at two minutes. And the next time, I forget what the next time was up. But uh, much more flame and not that much more alcohol used. So I hope that helps those that asked of how much alcohol was com consumed with this. And it's just one of those things that it just an accident that happened and maybe this is something to look into so I thank those that questioned us I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions 
and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend, and that's in the thickens in.